Okay, I'm going to do this short little video here for, um, I think your name is Arlen Moulton, I think. Anyway, I got a message from him asking to show my audio setup, so let's have a look. There it is. My audio setup. Not a CD player in sight. So let's go through some of the equipment here. So anyway, first up is my Akai 4000 DS reel-to-reel, -reel, which is from about 1972. It's running on all original parts, and it still works. Let's put the amplifier onto reel-to-reel. -reel. I have no idea what's actually in here, so let's just give it a listen. And of course, because I'm filming, it's decided to not work. Mm. There we go. Okay, that's me. I don't know what I'm going on about. Yeah, that's why it sounds a bit bad, because I wasn't using a very good microphone. Okay, well, unfortunately, I cannot show you what's on the other side of the tape, because there's some copyrighted music on there. And you know what YouTube is like. If you put any music on YouTube, they're going to take it right off, but maybe just a couple of seconds will be okay. Okay, that's all I'm going to play before the copyright picks up on that. And you might be wondering why I've threaded this reel in reverse. Well, the thing is, the tension on this really needs to be adjusted, but if I put the reel the right way around, it's going to put so much tension on the tape that it's not going to play very good. It's just going to be all wowing and fluttering all over the place. But if I do it this way, there's a lot less tension on the reel. Anyway, next down is this radio receiver, tuner whatever you want to call it. This is from about 19, the mid-1980s. I've no idea the actual date. I think it's about 1983. Somewhere around that time, but you can take a listen to that. Let's turn that on. And make my, put my amplifier onto the thing. Okay, there we go. I'm not going to get much on FM because I don't have an antenna connected and I don't really listen to FM anyway because they never have anything on that I like to listen to. So I mainly just listen to AM on this. See if I can find anything. Make sure the camera's still looking at it. Because they sometimes play some good old music on AM. And he seems to be talking at the moment. Don't want that. What music? Yes, can we actually hear some music? Don't know why there's so much static. I've unplugged all the switch mode power supplies in this place. Yeah, like I said, I've unplugged all the switch mode power supplies in this place, and I know it's not the lights that are interfering with this, so I really don't know what's going on. Okay, I don't think we're going to find anything good on there, but anyway, next down is another dump find. Both this receiver and this record player were dump finds. And this is one of my pride and joys. Direct drive linear tracking turntable. I'll just open this up so you can see. The front drawer slides out. Let me just make sure that needle's nice and clean. I know I shouldn't touch it, but I need a new needle for this anyway. Trouble is, those are about 20 quid. 20 quid for a little tiny piece of plastic. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I'll just play a little bit of something. I've got my amplifier, my homemade amplifier, already set onto it. Yep. There's Chaz and Dave. Again, I'm not going to play too much of that because I just don't know if you can play that on YouTube or not. So, over to this side. 
Another one of my pride and joys, my multi-track cassette deck. Oh, and on the back here, it's nothing to do with it. It's my camcorder that died, and I put too much voltage through it. There'll be more about that in a later video. But anyway, this cassette deck, I can make a recording on two of the tracks, and then another recording on another two of the tracks. Or I can record on any two tracks I want, or even just one track at a time. And I can also play back all four tracks of the tape if I want to. I can play a track on the tape while recording another one. I can mix other things in. It's a lot to explain, way too much to explain in a video. But if I play a tape, Anyway, there's me on it. We're gonna do Jason walking along. A drunk Jason walking along. Maybe you'll hear that later. Now if I do this, we can hear the other side backwards. That's what you get when you play normal tapes on this thing. Of course, to play normal tapes, just have these two on, like that. And it will play normally. Power connection's a this bit loose. A perfect impression of that man in that tape recorder. Oh. I make a lot of silly recordings, because I'm that kind of person. That's who I am when I'm off camera. And this thing over here is my microphone preamp that I made. Over here is the power supply for it. This cup with this filth in it that seems to be growing penicillin. That's not part of it, but that's the power supply. And this is the microphone preamp itself. And this is the very preamp that you're listening to right now. It uses an ECC832 as the actual amplifying device. There's a transistor circuit in there that regulates the audio level as well, so there's a little bit of... Yeah. It's not all tube state, it's sort of more of a hybrid state, but it gets the job done. The tube is what's actually doing the amplifying. Though. Amplified by tubes, regulated by transistors. So, I forgot to say what date this is from. Now, this is from about 1986. Or at least that's what the date on the motor is, so that's what I'm guessing this is from. And from here, not so vintage, from 1994 is my Denon DRS-810. I don't know what I've got in there, probably me being silly again, but still, let's see. Anyway, um, I was that to the test with the, the motor resistor again. I don't know. I we have. Felt like it. It. Yes, that's me being silly. But you could hear there's two recordings playing because I made that recording on this deck, where I can leave one track intact and record on another one. If I go and play that on this deck, I'll try and do this while holding the camera. It's not easy. We can actually hear those tracks separately. So, I'll we'll start this playing again. I'll just turn it up a little. So, if I turn this down, you can only hear one channel there. I'll do this. There's the other channel. And of course, just because I'm trying to demonstrate this, I've decided to not say anything. Unfortunately, he swears. Yes. Oh, so he's cool then. No, Ricky, swearing is not cool. Swearing is bad, okay. And down here is my amplifier that I made. I guess I really should label these controls, but the thing is, I know what they are. So I've got the function selector here where I can listen to the different inputs. Yeah, that's the radio, which is not tuned into anything. So we're just getting static on there, but... That's record player. That's auxiliary input. And over here is tape to tape. And I can select which tape I want to copy, which tapes I want to dub from. This switch here. 
Although my reel-to-reel -reel does not like being near this radio. It makes it hum. So you can probably hear. If I turn this off, the hum goes away. So yeah, that's basically it. Obviously you've got your volume and bass and treble controls. And of course a power switch. I'm sure you know what that does. Got to tidy up all these cables though. They're kind of loosely about, but... Now I've got to get on with this because this is my one of my vacuum tube Tesla coil experiments that doesn't seem to work. So I'm going to stuff 5,000 volts into this thing and see if that gets it going. But that's going to be in another video if I, if I ever get it working, of course. Oh, just one thing before I go. Have you ever seen a DVD like this? Look at that funky stuff all over this DVD. No, I did not print some weird stripey pattern on it or something. I threw this DVD against the wall because it didn't burn properly. And this is how it came out. This is what happened to it after it hit the wall. It got this sort of circly, stripey pattern all over it. And the weird thing is, if I try to bend it, or if I do bend it, I can actually change that. Is that crazy or what? Weirdest DVD ever! Anyway, that's that from that. That's enough of that. I'm gonna stop this recording now, and yeah. Like I always say, until next time, goodbye.